allowed in the Belarus, so only one chance for Belarusians to see it was the internet and YouTube. So, uh, we introduced it, we decided that right after making the film premiere in Poland, uh, we allowed to put the film on YouTube for Belarusians to get the chance to see it. Uh, is there anything you have changed? You see, the problem with Belarusians is that uh, the opposition has. Uh, I don't know, one third of the whole society, the rest is just agreeing with the uh, regime of Lukashenko. So, uh, the question when there are going to be the changes, we still don't know it, but uh, you know, when three years ago anyone could t say to you that uh, Gaddafi in Libya will collapse, you would not believe so. The same will can be in Belarus, there comes a moment, I think, if, because economical reasons, there, there will be a moment that. Russians will start protests and will, they will change the government and the regime of Lukashenko will collapse like also. And all Belarusians which were supporting this film may also have the same hope. Uh, Where did you shoot this film? Yeah. Uh, most of the scenes were made in Poland, obviously. Poland, uh, with its background, is quite similar to Belarus because uh, the, 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 these, the, these countries are just, you know, neighbors. So it's, you know, kind of uh, East European landscape. Uh, but uh, we had some also still shots, uh, these uh, white shots uh, from Minsk at the beginning when you see the bus uh, is passing by the Ministry of uh, Defense also. So such the white screening without actors, we could just do them uh, thanks to uh, friendly DOPs in Belarus, which were just uh, made a false project called uh, European, uh, European Capitals. They were just made these shots and they were secretly sent it to us and we are able to put them into the film. So we are able to show a little Minsk in, in this film because obviously for obvious reasons we were unable to do anything in Belarus. What is the reaction of other European spectators countries about this film? Uh, you know, the, most, uh, the, the more West Europeans they are, the uh, stronger reactions there are. Because, you know, in, uh, in Poland we say we have the same situation with communists 20, 30 years ago. In Czech they say also the same. But for example in Vienna, especially the young people, they are saying it's incredible that such things are happening to young people for just... They, 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 they did not anything uh, wrong, in fact. And what price did they pay? So it's really shocking for the people who didn't have experience with communism or with totalitarianism at all. What about interne international interme intervention? The US are not getting involved. The, the British are not getting involved with this situation. They know that there's no democracy over here. Otherwise, they get themselves involved in each and every country when there's no democracy. Where in this, when they've seen this, when you see this, when you see this movie, I think they should get in involved and get democracy in that country. But what's happening? There's no international in intervention, I, I suppose. You know, I think that Americans have uh, their interest in, in other parts of uh, well, not in uh, Eastern Europe, especially the so close to the Soviet Union, which uh, is uh, excluded to Russia, because I think maybe Russia is also, also interested with uh, the status quo like it is. I think so. And uh, about intervention, I think that uh, revolution brought by uh, other countries. Uh, it's always uh, not good situation because many people just don't agree with this. I think that revolution must be made from inside, from the people who are just where, uh, being in the country. So we just have to wait for activating Belarusians to, to do, to do that, the changes. You Indians, I think, that know that the best, that uh, no one helped you. You have to sell something, and I think that with revolutions, there must be such, uh, it, it is, it's the only one good way. Also, we can even uh, think about the Iraqi situation. Because uh, there was intervention, Saddam is gone, but most of Iraqis don't uh, like this way, and still they are protesting. There is no day in Baghdad without uh, bomb uh, assaults and so on. So, so I think uh, all revolutions must be have its beginning, at least uh, inside the country. I think. So. How long did it take you to actually realize the script and make it? Uh, you know, uh, with script there was quite simple situation because uh, it's. Uh, most of the script is based on the story of uh, young Belarusian oppositionist, uh, Franan Gajorka, and uh, most of the film is his life. He was not a rock musician, 
but he was in army, he started to fight for the small freedom fetch, as uh, for example for equality of Belarusian language in Belarusian army. And uh, after that he started to uh, be in elections, in local elections like it was. He has recorded situation like uh, these elections were falsified, like we showed it in the film. And he also uh, was uh, very ill after releasing from army, but not uh, so strong as our main hero. My, uh, our main hero contains of uh, three authentical cases of Belarusian young Belarusian oppositionists. So with the script of the situation that we had on the script, we just had to write it down. But uh, so I think it worked. It worked uh, worked quite quickly. Uh, obviously, we've also got the strong. Uh, uh, help from a uh, producer from uh, our national uh, Warsaw Film Documentary Studio. Uh, they say to us, if, if, if they say to me, if you got such a strong political topic, and <coughs> if uh, we are going to help to Belarusians, anyone with this, let's go and shoot this film. We also got some uh, cash from Ministry of Culture, and uh, after one year of starting working for the script, we were able to shoot. Obviously, we've got only a very short shooting period, there were only 33 uh, shooting days, so we had to work very, very quickly. For example, this scene, this last scene with the manifestation on the main square, uh, square uh, this scene we did uh, like six hours before. Do you get any financial aid to produce this movie from Polish government? Uh, unofficially, yes. You know, there, there was also a quite funny situation because some officially in Poland there are very strong sympathies for Belarusian opposition because uh, we've had also the same story. Uh, the problem is also, uh, was only when the people from government watched this film. They say it's too strong and it may uh, cause some problems with the uh, attitudes against, uh, between uh, countries, between official countries. Because it's not secret that the European Union is going to uh, make some agreement with Lukashenko to release some uh, Belarusian uh, oppositions which are now in prison. So uh, the negotiations are, are, are still in work in progress. So that's why uh, when they watched the film, they, they thought, okay, okay we, uh, we help you before starting shooting, but after that, we just get rid, you have just to get rid of the, our. Uh, showing our institutions in credits. There are no any uh, government institution in credits because they asked us for that. Actually, so it's, you know, kind of schizophrenia. Are you in danger of any repercussions? No, myself not, but some actors have also some problems. The main actor, uh, after working on this film, he, uh, you know, the film started to be alive because he was uh, take, he, uh, the authorities was going to take him also to the army. And the problem is with army, not that you have only one year of service, but when you come to the army, they are just trying to involve you to something criminal. For example, when you are just sleeping, they can give you some drugs uh, under your pillow. They show it and after that from army, you just go straight to the prison. So that's what, what he was afraid of. Uh, so after the first phone from the army, he just uh, moved to Poland and he still is here. Well, if he's still in Poland, then uh, he can't go back to Belarus now. Uh, and with other actors, that was quite a funny situation. Uh, with that uh, guy who played the uh, political officer in the army. So with him there was a situation that he's a member of uh, very famous but uh, state theater in Belarus, in Minsk. So after director of the theater heard that uh, this actor, uh, Alex Molchanov, has uh, taken a part in the film, he asked him to talk, and he said to him, what's going on with you? Why did you play in, this, in, in that film? He said, well, obviously I played, but on the right side. <laughs> so, he's still <laughs> First good news is that he's still in this theater and he still takes a part in that film. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can you expect more films, uh, the government more films based on your know, issues that people know? No, it's hard to say. I think that uh, the director is used to uh, do uh, different things, you know. 
So I think that if you do the screen one, yeah, I think it's 